Welcome back YouTube to the latest vlog at Cornwall Car Care. So next up we have a 2015 Range Rover Evoque. This is kind of booked in for hopefully a single stage machine polish but there is an option to do a two stage if we need it. Um, there are some deeper marks on the bonnet but we'll go through that in a second. Uh, but I'm hoping to go with a single stage. That's my aim for this one. Uh, all the gloss black, I'll go through in a minute. That all needs polishing. Um, yeah, we're going with Gion Infinite coating, wheels off. Uh, we're going to look at painting the calipers as well and the hubs, engine bay, front part of the interior. But yeah, let's get straight in. Woo. Sorry, I've just come in from outside. So yeah, you can see all this gloss black. Needs quite a bit of work. Paintwork is quite swirly. But I know these are quite soft. So yeah, I think a single stage might, might be enough. Obviously got some deeper ones down this side. This is the passenger side. The Cornish hedges. Yeah. And then, yeah, this A pillar is going to need a bit of work. Um, we'll try and get through this quite quick. Yeah, quite swirly on that one. Uh, the bonnet. Oh, yeah, you can see that deep scratch there. And if I go up, there's another one there. But yeah, you can see, I don't even need my big light. The bonnet is quite swirly. <laughs> um, I'm hoping they're quite light. Yeah. Uh, so as we come back down the passengers, no it's not, it's the driver's side. But yeah, just some, Ooh. So there, down the bottom, obviously I've clayed this and that's marred it just there. Bit of clay marring. Um, so that goes to show me that it's quite soft. Oh, there's a tiny bit of gloss just there. But yeah, these will come up like new. But yeah, just... Oh, I really do hope a single stage is going to be enough. And then the back. Yeah. This is not too bad at all back here. Well, that is the quick walk round done. Um, you kind of get the idea of the condition of those. Wheels will be going out tomorrow. Yeah, look at that. They need a very good clean. I, I've got a time frame on this and we've got a budget. So I've got to try and see what I can get done in that budget, in that time. I'm gonna grab all my polishers, start doing my test panels. Uh, we'll come back in a second, just to let you know what I'm using. Um, oh, where do I start? As always, I'm probably going to start with the report so just see where we are. Yeah, come back in a minute. Woo!
So we are at the end of day two on the Evoke. I can tell you this, I am knackered. Even though this is smaller than a Range Rover, it's still a lot of surface area. And the damage that was in it, to get it like that from a single stage, there were a couple of little areas um, down on the door that needed a little bit more. So I hit that with the microfiber cutting pad and then refined it all with, what did I use? The Flex One Step Compound. Um, yeah, I think it was on this Mercedes Scratch video that I did. I, I said I wanted to give that and the Two Step Compound another go. Um, the first time I used it, wasn't really happy. So yeah, just putting it through its paces. As you know, I love testing. And I'll, I'll never use a product once and then go, oh, that was crap. You've got to do it on multiple cars, different paint types, to kind of really get to know how that polish works. Um, the work time of it, oh, just lots of bits you need to know before you can discard it. And yeah, I think that one is going to be one to stay. Oh, honestly, I'm absolutely shattered. My feet are hurting, my arms are hurting. But that is looking amazing. Oh, it's like a mirror. Yeah, another one. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, the wheels. Did I show them earlier on? I don't know if I did. If I did show them earlier on. Look how clean these have come up. Look at that. Admittedly, there's a tiny little bit, whoop, there's my finger there, in each corner. I tried and I tried and I tried. So yeah, that little bit in the corner is there to stay. But yeah, they come out so well. Sorry, my washing machine is going. That should be finished in a minute. So yeah, while that washing machine is going, I'm gonna get the wheels wiped down because I wanna coat those first thing in the morning, get them back on, and then put it back on the floor and do the paint coating. There we go, washing machine's almost done. Um, so yeah, we got, tomorrow we've got wheel coating first thing in the morning, paint coating, glass coating, trim coating, finish off the engine bay, uh, interior work. I've got it written down. I think we're just doing the front part of the interior. Um, but yeah, another one that I want to have wrapped up tomorrow. <sighs> but yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. What's the time? I don't even know what the time is. It is half past seven. <sighs> well, that was a 13 hour day today. See you in the morning. Whew. So first thing in the morning, the wheels were wiped down yesterday. That was with Geon Prep. So anything that has a coating will have a minimum of Geon Prep. Most of the time it is a panel wipe and Geon Prep as well. Um, but <sighs> squeaky clean. So yeah, we're gonna get on with the wheels for this one. Geon Rim Evo. Let's crack it open. And I have a cut up soft wipe on my applicator block. Lay it on.
just apply it to the whole wheel. You just want a nice even coverage. And then I just have another piece of cut up soft wipe. So for in these gaps, I want to lay it in there and leave it nice and thick to try and make this part a bit easier to clean next time it comes to its wheels off. What I want to do, if I can find it, is check for any high spots. Because like the last set of wheels I did, if there are no high spots, I'm going to leave that to be as thick as it can. I can't believe how well that this levels down. Not saying that the old one was not good, but this coating definitely levels down a lot nicer. Um, so what I kind of mean by leveling is there's no high spots anywhere. So I think, what have I got coming up soon? Um, I will do something where I'm, I'm going to airbrush this coating on and see how that works. But yeah, I'm more than happy with that, so I'm just going to leave it and uh, yeah, we'll get on with the front. Oh, it's another heavy set of wheels. Well, that is one done. I've got three more to go. Uh, we'll come back when we're doing the paint coating. Yes. Just got some Auto Finesse Triple. I'm just gonna give the, uh, the wheel nuts a quick polish. Oh, I've got my first snack of the day up there waiting. Pizza! Really not bad at all. So give a quick wipe over. Oh, what I didn't speak about earlier on is we painted the hubs and the calipers. Now I didn't film that because I'm still not 100% uh, happy with how I'm doing it. So yeah, definitely want to look at maybe an aerosol paint rather than a paint paint, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, still not that happy with the finish um, so yeah when I'm happy and I'm when I'm happy with the results that I'm getting I will film when I'm doing it but yeah at the moment uh, I'm still learning uh, I'm still learning how to do it properly what well, the proper way to do it is to remove them and uh, have them all sandblasted and done that way but I do not want to get involved in that no way. I just want to make them nice, clean. Yeah. So yeah, for the moment, I'm not going to film it, but they are black, so they do look a lot nicer than rusty. Uh, but they were just basically rubbed down, 
um, brush on with primer, and then two coats of black. Right, that is good enough. I just want to make sure I've got everything done that needs to be done while it's up in the air. Uh, I can do all the trim while it's on the floor. Uh, yeah, I want to do the paint coating while it's on the floor and also the glass is easier to do when it's on the floor. So yeah, let's get this put away. Wipe the paint wipe down and then yeah, we're going to get ready for coating, paint coating. Oosh. So let's just get straight into this part because you all know this is the pinnacle of my day applying the coat in. So yeah, this one is having infinite base type one. I've got everything set up, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So yeah, I just wanna get this laid down and get it fully protected. So yeah, go music! Well, there we go, YouTube. We have reached the end of this detail. 2015, that is. You would never believe that from how that looks now. But yeah, 95% of that had a single stage machine polish. There were a couple of little areas um, on the bottom, of, bottom of the doors. We just had to give it a quick cut with a microfiber cutting pad and then refine the whole door. Um, God, he's gonna be so happy when he comes and picks this up. But yeah, single stage machine polish, Gion Infinite Base Type 1 for the paintwork, uh, Gion Quick View for the glass, Gion Rim Evo for the wheels inside and out, um, and Gion Rim for the calipers as well, which I painted, all the trim work, obviously Gion Trim Evo, uh, Preserve under the bonnet, uh, all the interior, that has been, it was very clean to begin with, um, so I didn't film any of that, um, that had a quick coat of Gion Leather Shield. Um, yeah, I think we've pretty much covered everything, but yeah, that looks absolutely stunning. Woo.
It's amazing what a single stage machine polish does. It absolutely transforms the vehicles. Just more than happy with that. <laughs> so let's get straight into some afters. So 2015 Range Rover Evoque Enhancement Detail that has been G&I. Let's run the bastards. 